Yes. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Who loved us so much that He came and died on the cross by crucifixion. Yes. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. who made sinners again to be in the presence of God yes. with His blood. That's right. That's right. Bible tells us. Yes. Yes. God sent His only Son. Yeah. So that we can go back to Him. Yeah. With the blood of Jesus on the cross. Mm. Man and woman are made right with Holy God. Oh yes. Oh yes. Without oh, yes. Lord Jesus Christ, we are Dead just receive. nobody. We are nothing. We have no life. But it is Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh yes. Who gives us back? He gives us life. It is Lord Jesus Christ who makes us alive. Yeah. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Deserves all praises. Yes, indeed, indeed. Okay. Today we want to talk about Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Yeah. Best example to mankind. Yep. Yet he is identified as the man of God. Mm. <laughs> but as we look at the Bible, mm. we see Bible identifies Muhammad as the false prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord yeah. Jesus Christ talks about him and tells us he is the false prophet. Yes, correct. Yeah. Old Testament prophets are talking about Muhammad yeah. and identifying him as the false prophet. Mm. Yet today, one point eight. Muslims yeah. are faithfully trying to follow a man called Muhammad. Yeah. Yet when we look at the Islamic tradition, mm. we see it is Muhammad who is affected by the Satans. It is Muhammad who has been deceived and therefore he deceived many. Mm. Very true, yes. So we look at the Quran and we see Quranic teachings on this. Well, we, we, let's go back to okay so we're gonna go to surah 16 and we're gonna and we're gonna read what it teaches in regards to this you got up there surah 16 <laughs> we've got people who like these verses surah 16 verse 98 okay can you recite the quran mm. seek refuge in allah from satan the expelled from his presence, his mercy. Mm. Indeed, there is for him no authority over those who have believed mm. and relied upon their Lord. Right. If you rely on Lord, if you rely on Allah, Satan has no power over you. That's right. His authority is only over those who take him as a friend and those who who do uh, him, who associate him with yeah. partners yes surah 1698 mm. tells us tells us satan has power satan has power only those people who are not friends with allah mm. if you are friends with satan Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. As Quran tells us this, mm. also when we look at the Islamic tradition, we see Muhammad says the similar things. So we're looking at the um, Ibn Kafir. Should we start with Ibn Kafir? For example, when we look at the Islamic tradition, we see Muhammad says people who has got bad dreams, it comes from evil. Muhammad talks about use of the bells is as the sign of evil. That's right. That's right. And then as he explains those to the Meccans and in her in early Muslims, we want to see today if Muhammad fulfills any of those demon possessed actions mm. which early Muslims identified and early pagans identified. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so so we're gonna look at 
The bad, which one are we going to look at first? Bad, bad and evil dreams? Uh, yeah, we can start from there. Okay, so, according to the criteria for someone um, being possessed by demons, it falls under certain criteria. One of them being eloquent speech, but another one, bad and evil dreams. Another one is the use of bells. So there's criteria, um, and you can read them somewhere in Saudi Bukhari. Those, cr those criteria comes from Muhammad yes. himself. That's it's, correct. It doesn't come from any other person, but it comes from Muhammad himself. So let's look at the first one, eloquent speech, which he mentions. Okay? It says here, I'm going to get straight down to the chase. It says, Veer upon Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, who had been gifted with the most eloquent and pithy expressions, said, I forbid you from every intoxicant that keeps you away from prayer. So here, Muhammad sets this standard, this high criteria of eloquence in speech that shows that you are demon possessed. Yet he himself had eloquent speech. And there you see that he falls short of his own standard. Therefore, according to Muhammad, he must be demon possessed himself. Or pos yeah. So, also, yeah. also you it is in the same Islamic tradition. Yes. We, we, are re we read that eloquent speech is part of magic. Yeah. It is part of you magic. Yeah. Yet we look at the life of Muhammad yeah. and, then good from your Bible. and then we see that you Muhammad is practicing this. Yeah. Do you have an example that Muhammad is practicing this, brother? I think you have to read that one. Yeah. Islamic tradition tells us if Eloquent speech, it is for, it is for magic, it is part of the magic. That's right, yeah. Yet, we look at the examples of Muhammad and then we see his eloquent speech are allowing people to practice what Muhammad himself said. Right, 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 right. right. So it's a persuasion. Yes. They've been persuaded by his eloquent speech, yes. which is, according to him, you're demon possessed. So we have a demon possessed Muhammad. Which is sad. Yeah. This demon possessed Muhammad is a lost prophet and followed by 1.8 billion Muslims today. Yeah, yeah. This and is... another criteria that Muhammad was under the power of Satan, under the power of demons, under the power of magic is bad dreams, bad, bad and evil dreams. Yeah. 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 All right. So it says here. Narrated Aisha, um, the, com the commencement of the divine inspiration to Allah's Apostle was in the form of good, righteous, true dreams in his sleep. He never had a dream, but that it he never had a dream, but that it came true like bright daylight. He used to go in in seclusion, the cave of Hira, where he used to worship Allah alone continuously for many days and nights. He used to take with him on a journey food for that stay and then come back to his wife Khadija to take food likewise again for another period to stay till suddenly the truth descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira. The angel came to him and asked him to read. The prophet replied, I do not know how to read. The prophet added, the angel caught me forcefully and pressed me, uh, pressed me so hard that I could not hear it anymore. He then released me and again asked me to read. And a second time till I could not bear it anymore, he then released me. And so here we have that's the first revelation That's the Muhammad is receiving in the cave. The first revelation, yes. And he's having what it says here, righteous um, dreams in his sleep. But what we find is that this isn't exactly a good dream. It's an evil dream because he's being pressed. He's being forced. You know, the angels tell him to recite. He says, I cannot, re um, um, I cannot read. And so we have Muhammad who sets this criteria that bad dreams come from the devil 
But yet he himself is receiving these bad dreams. And not only that, it was his first revelation, which shows even from the get-go, he was falling underneath the, criteria, um, the standard of being possessed. As you continue to read the same story, yes. you will see effects of that. Muhammad wanted to commit suicide. He wanted to commit suicide. Yeah. He wanted to commit suicide again and again and again. He was wow. that much affected. Suicide of prophet. Flipped out what's happening yeah. <laughs> that he wanted to commit suicide. Yeah. And also it is same Muhammad who stated a good, true good dream is from Allah. Yeah. And bad dream is from Satan. Wow. It is same Muhammad. It is same Muhammad who states that who states if you have bad dream, it comes from Satan. Yeah. Yet in his first dream, yeah. in his first revelation, yeah. Muhammad had very, very bad dream. Yeah. He wanted to commit suicide. Also, as you read Islamic traditions, in his biograph, in his customs, we see when Muhammad had the vision of hell, mm. he freaked out so badly yeah. for that dream. Again, mm. Satan stepped in. Yeah. And man called Muhammad was affected by Satan yeah. and had a dream from Satan. The question is, if Muhammad is the last prophet. Yeah. If Muhammad is the prophet of God, mm. and if people who see God as their Lord and put their trust in Him, mm. why this man is under the attack of Satan? Yeah. Can someone? Is there a music? Can someone answer that? Can you answer that? Did you, did you hear the question? Are, are you a Muslim, by the way? Okay, could you repeat the question for him? He might, he might have the answer. So, according to Islamic tradition, bad dream comes from the Satan. And Muhammad himself had bad dreams. My question is, why do you put your trust on this man while he was under the attack of Satan? We just read it, we just read it here. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, how long have you been using it? Two years. Two years. Two years. What about your faith? You were agnostic. You have been Muslim for few years, but you didn't even check the basic character of your prophet. That's the most important thing, right? That's something about Islam. First of all, I studied the Quran, and I came to Islam. The Hadith is not as important as the Quran. So you studied the Quran, and you become a Muslim, that's all. Can you explain me, in Surah 16, as um, it is intensified, Muhammad, sorry, it is intensified, if people seek refuge in Allah, it is all fine, but people who are affected um, by Satan, they are friends of Satan. And it is then, it is linked with that to, it is linked with that verse, Muhammad is affected by Satan. So, as you read the Quran, it is the same, it is the same Quran, tells you, you must obey Allah, and you must obey Muhammad. So, you never even got to look at the life of Muhammad. My Quran, is going to be affected by Satan. Right, well, we know that, because that's what your Quran says. What we're asking is, why is it that, through the sources you've been reading, why is it that Muhammad, who's supposed to be the best prophet or the, the, the most perfect example, why is he being... Okay, last, whatever, he's a prophet. The Quran that you read... Yeah, he's the best he brought the message to the world. The Quran that you read brought the message to the world. The other prophets gave him Muhammad is the best example to mankind. Do you believe Jesus is a prophet or God? The Jesus is truly God and truly man. That's not our question. Oh, that our sense, question though. is what we what we want is can you can you be clear what you're saying? Because your your Quran is saying one thing, but then Muhammad is experiencing something that contradicts. So that so so he doesn't he doesn't. This is a guy who doesn't read his hadiths. He's been he's been a Muslim. 
You be, so we're asking this question. Okay, you don't know them. Let, let me, yeah. <coughs> let me you just, just said you don't know. Let me just put a little bit logic here. Okay. So, you have been first and first of last year, and you didn't read the hadith because they were too much. So, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari is 10 volumes, 9 or 10 volumes, yeah. 7,295 hadith. Okay? And it takes a box of it for me to read 1,000 thousand pages. And I would say, if you sit down, you will be able to read this Sahih Bukhari within two weeks. Yeah, but, you haven't read it. But you know what? What's even better than that is that we have Christians who are teaching you your hadith. And so if you were genuinely, sincerely trying to understand your prophet Muhammad, why would he open your ears and listen to the, to the, to the um, hadiths and the tasfirs that we're giving to you? Are you interested in knowing what this is? Are you interested in knowing about your prophet? Are you interested in this? Are you interested in knowing about the, the uh, character of your prophet? No, no, I'm saying your, 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 your um, sahih, your um, hadith should be able to give you that information. Is that correct? Is that correct? Should the hadith give you an explanation of the character of your prophet? Sorry? Right, so are you dismissing the hadith? Which one are you doing? So is it Sahih Bukhari? Will you accept that? You're, you're, a, bit, you're a bit muddled up at the moment. Yeah, you're not, you're not clear. Okay. Is, you're bring very basic information about biographical customs of Muhammad, yeah. suddenly Muslims have no idea. No idea. <laughs> if there is anything what is that? negative about yeah. the customs of Muhammad, yeah. that hadith is not reliable. Yeah. With that, they do not only poison Muhammad second time, they also throw Muhammad under the bus. Hadith. You will not able to be Muslim, sir. I am sure that basic information was in your mind. Yeah. But what you saw is, as Muhammad tells us, people who have bad dreams, mm. it comes from the Satan. Yes. And then Quran tells us, people who are affected by Satan yeah. are the friends of Satan. That's right. Yet, we look at the customs of Muhammad and Dreams. Yes. He got freaked out with the dreams he had. He wanted to commit suicide. He wanted to commit suicide. He yeah. wanted to commit suicide. It went on and on and on again. Yeah. In this time, it is the angel Gabriel comes yeah. as a cuddling teddy bear to Muhammad to say, please don't commit suicide. It's all fine. But this guy is already freaked out from that. Right. So we have a suicidal prophet and we have a prophet whose criteria doesn't even match the um, or his 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 uh his conduct or his experiences does not even come to the standard and the criteria set by the Quran. Is this someone you should follow? Of course not. Of course not. According, According to his character. Of course not. Are you even here? Are you listening to what we're saying? You're, you're all over the all right. So another thing, another thing we look at the Islamic sources and then we say Muhammad has been deceived. Muhammad has been under the influence of Satan when it comes to the use of the bells. Yeah. Can you look at the, that, that Okay, so we're gonna look at the bells now. All right. So that's another one of the criteria. Okay. So let me get that. Okay, so it says narrated Aisha, the mother of the faithful believers. Al Harif bin Hisham asks Allah's Apostle, O oh Allah Apostle, how is the divine inspiration revealed to you? Allah's Apostle replied, Sometimes it is revealed that the ringing of a bell. So Muhammad was receiving revelation yeah. by hearing the ringing of the bell. Right. And it is the same Islamic tradition. Remember, Muhammad received the revelation from angels. Yeah. Yeah. Angels do not accompany the travelers mm. who have been with a dog and a bell. Yeah, right, right. So where did that revelation came from? Yeah. If angels wasn't hanging around with Muhammad, 
That's a good question for Muslims to answer. Can you answer? There is a devil along with each bell, Muhammad says. But again, Prophet says it. Angels do not go traveling in the company which there is a bell. Yet Muhammad testifies that he gets the revelation by hearing the bells. So if that revelation comes from Satan? It has I mean Satan I mean Muhammad is basically a walking contradiction. Because he says he claims that he received his revelations from Allah in the Quran and then you have Sahih, people like Sayyid Bukhari, Sayyid Muslim, and all these hadiths and tasfirs that say that, you know, we know so much about his life and this is how he lived. But yet everything he says contradicts Allah. Allah's um, instructions, everything he, the criteria, the standards he puts, he himself contradicts it. And so we have a confused um, prophet. And what we have to ask ourselves is, can we follow someone who himself breaks his own, the, the laws of Allah and the standards he sets, he falls below his own standards. Is that someone you can rely on? Why does it stop? So, when we look at the Islamic tradition, yeah. we question the Muhammad's prophethood through Islamic tradition. Yeah. Not because we are Christians, mm. and Christian scripture tells us Muhammad is false prophet, yeah. but because Yeah. Follow man called Muhammad yeah. and believe he is the prophet. Yeah. When we look at his life, yeah. we see Muhammad had a very good speech. Yes. And according to the tradition, that was under the magic. The magic, yeah. We hear that Muhammad was frightened from his dreams. Yes. And Islamic tradition tells us it came from the Satan. The Satan. So Muhammad received his revelation in the ringing of the bells. Yes. And then the same Islamic tradition yeah. tells us yeah. that cannot be from God. It was from Satan. Because angels do not hang out with devil. Yeah. So, as all yeah. this is proves, Muhammad is a false prophet. Yeah. All this all this information is proof Muhammad has been under the influence of Satan. Yeah. Therefore, we cannot put our trust in man called Muhammad. Yes. One point eight million Muslims are following this man. Yes. Yet Clearly, he wasn't having any relation with God. Yeah. Clearly, he was far from God. And clearly, man called Muhammad, identified as the prophet of Islam, is was under the satanic power. Well, that's interesting because according to the Quran, Surah 354, it says that Allah is the greatest of deceivers. 354. 354, yeah. Allah the greatest, yes, yes it does. Allah the greatest of deceivers. And then you get Muhammad, who said, who clearly is deceived and, by Allah. And then Allah, Muhammad is like passing, it's like, um, he passes on the buck, he deceives, one, he deceives our believers or, 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 or Muslims into believing, um, into, into, into believing that Islam is true and Muhammad is a prophet. And then now we have, like my sister said, 1.8 billion deceived Muslims who, who, who follow the deceiver called Muhammad, who in turn follow the deceiver called um, Allah. We have a problem there. We've got a deception problem going on. Here's the bottom line, guys. Here's the bottom line. As Muslims have God called Allah, identified as the best of deceivers. Yes. As Muslims have prophets. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Yeah. There is an alternative. Yeah. Alternative is yeah. Lord 
Jesus Christ. That's the option. You can you got alternatives. Why is Christianity Father you got Father alternatives. helping us? Why, why, is, why is Christianity Lord the religious Jesus religion? Christ. Are you trying to engage? Love the God so much that He no, gave yes, His life for us. That's right. Bible tells no, us yes, there is no any other way. Yeah. Mama's woman can be right with Holy God. Yes. Yes. Only through. Because of the blood of Jesus, Amen. we are made right with God. That's right. That's right. Praise to the God. Hallelujah. Praise to the God who offers us eternal life. Only Jesus. Praise no one else. Praise to the Lord of Lords, yes. King of Kings. Yeah. Praise to the one who came and died on the cross for every one of you. Yeah. Praise to the God who is going to judge men. Yeah, yeah. And he is going to keep him accountable yes. for deceiving 1.8 million persons. Yeah. 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 Praise to the Lord Jesus. The way as we look forward, the way he comes back. Yes. Yes. We remember, we remember one day, every time we confess, he is God. Yes. One day, one day. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 That's right. Who loves us enough yes. to do something for us? Yes. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Amen. Yes. Yes.